Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. It's me, Cindy, <laughs> the angel therapist, or the angel lady, and all the other titles I have, but I don't focus on those things. <laughs> it's just me. But I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting ready for the holidays. Those who celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah to you. And I hope uh, you're staying healthy and hanging in there. I get so many questions from people that say, what are the angels saying about COVID-19, coronavirus? What are the angels saying about Trump? What are the angels saying about um, uh, Biden and the Supreme Court and all, all these things? So I just thought I was just going to throw it out there to you <laughs> and let you know. And uh, maybe it'll bring you some hope or some healing or, um, you know, take you to a good place, I hope. I don't know if the Trump supporters are going to take them to a good place, but the truth is the truth, okay? So about the coronavirus, the angels had said to me that it's not going to be completely over. It's, we're not going to get back to 100% norm, normal living until 2022. And so although the, um, the the vaccines are a good thing and everybody or everybody or most of the people because I'm sure some people are allergic to it they can't take it but there's going to be three different uh, kinds of vaccines that will be available really really so we have the one we have um, the other one coming <laughs> names I know but I forget or at the moment but and there's a third one coming I think from Johnson & Johnson that's coming and the more people that take it, the better it is. But we have to keep in mind is this. It's not about us in the United States. It's about the whole world. That's what you have to remember. So when I say, when the angels tell me 2022, it's about everyone, the whole world, to get back to being normal until 2022. So we might start getting back. A lot, a lot of the experts are saying probably around summertime, uh, we'll be back to a lot of things, but not everything. And, uh, you know, I tend to believe that. I really believe, uh, you know, probably next Thanksgiving and next Christmas, we'd be able to share with family and all, but not everything's going to be 100% until 2022. So it really depends on the whole world coming that way. So just hang in there. You know, keep wearing your mask. It's very, very important. You know, it's it's not about, this isn't political. This is about caring for our neighbor, caring for each other. You know, caring, helping us to get through this all together. Because we are, we are together in all this. Uh, so and it's really important to wear your mask and hand sanitize, wash your hands, you know, stay social distance and stay away from big crowds. It's really important that we all do our part. And some people don't feel that way. <laughs> you know, they don't want to do this. And I wish they would because we all need to come together for this. It's, it's not political. Please don't make it political. It's about caring and loving and uh, for each other and caring for yourself, okay? So, I hope you continue to do that. Now, about Donald Trump. They told me he's gonna kinda like just disappear. He's gonna disappear. Like in two years, all this is gonna disappear. Uh, you know, all the Trump supporters, there's gonna be some stragglers who are there, but he's gonna disappear. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, how he's going to disappear or if he's going to go away but he's he's going to disappear so i have no idea when i ask about him i get a blank answer they just says done so once we get through the inauguration and get things moving and you know like like two years i i do think he's going to deal with some legal challenges um uh, you know that are brought on him uh, what he does uh so um there will be some of those things and with his children i think his children are going to be more probably in the spotlight more than him but he's just he's disappearing i don't know how why what he's doing but that's what i see uh i really don't that i don't feel the angels tell me i don't feel like he's going to jail if he does 
it won't be for long. But don't think that he's not going to pay or or account for all the terrible things he's done. That's I don't know if it's going to be quite quite quiet and nobody knows, you know. But it's like he disappears. Okay, some things we might hear, some things we won't. I don't know, but that's what I get. And I do know, you know, and when he was elected uh, in 2016, you know, I had asked the angels, I said, how could this man be president? How, how can this happen? And they said, it happened because we are changing, the universe is changing. We need change. And we need to come to a point to the feminine way of things. So you're going to see more women in, in, uh, in, in more uh, government, and you know, be more leaders is what I'm going to say. More women in leaders. Times are going to change. It's time for change in every area of our lives. So in order to do that, we had to put Trump in. Uh, a high position like that to bring him down. You can believe that, because the only way if you put him in, if they if he was put into this this high position, that everything will be exposed a lot quicker, a lot faster. Everybody that's with him is going is going to go down with him. He will be completely exposed for all the wrongdoings that he has done. So. Uh, I personally want, want to let you all know I don't I don't vote party I vote character and many years ago I had a friend who uh, had a brother-in-law who owned a construction company and he did a million dollar job for Donald Trump I don't know if it was in Atlantic City or wherever I'm not sure and when it came time to pay the man Donald Trump said I'm not paying you and he said sue me this man had families. He had workers. He owed money to businesses for material costs. He had all these things. The man had to go bankrupt. All these people suffered because Donald Trump did this. And then after he was running, running for president and he became president, when all these people came out and said he did this, I said, yes, I know someone that he did this to. So he would never have gotten my vote anyway because I knew his character uh, and my thought was if he can rip off the little guy all these little guys who are working to put food on their tables to take care of their families to earn a living if he can destroy all these families and these businesses how is he going to help our country how so that's why even well before he was even running for president, I didn't care for him. <laughs> I said, no, he's, he's not a nice person. So when he was elected into president back in 2016, and I asked the angels, that's what they told me. We had to put him in. He's got to be in this high office in order for the universe to begin to heal. He has to be exposed for everything he is. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Okay, and, and of course, a lot of things that he's done is going to lead to different changes in in laws and you know uh, what presidents can and cannot do. So it's he he we had to have what he did exposed. Not so much you know since uh, Richard Nixon and things that wasn't nearly as bad as what's going on here, but that's had to happen. So and I know a lot of people are highly supportive of Donald Trump. That's okay. I mean you. you you see the way it's not for me to tell people how they should feel or how they should think you know i'm not going to tell anyone i'm not going to judge anybody you have to do what's best for you and i can't tell you what's best for you <laughs> i can just tell you what's what's happening what's going on what's being said you take it however you like that's okay as far as as far as joe biden he is going to work very very hard to make things better and he will because once Donald Trump disappears and fades off, the, no one will be threatened by him anymore. Okay. He, he won't have this thing over people's heads. And then they're really going to work. It's very important that this country, we all 
work together, just like it says wearing a mask, work together to help and heal everyone, that we have the whole, our government do the same thing. It's going to change. Now, I had asked the angels about if Joe Biden was going to have a second term. I don't know if he's going to have a second term. And it's not that, because when I, when, I, when I asked them that, they said to me, he's tired. That's what they said. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means. So I don't know if he's if he's not going to run again or he's he's satisfied with his job and he's going to you know hand the reins to some, and let another person finish the job or be president. I don't know what that means. All they said was that he's tired. Maybe it's too soon to ask. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. But I know Joe Biden is going to kick butt and get things going. Now, as far as um, the Supreme Court goes, and a lot of people are very concerned about things being turned over, road versus Wade and, and abortion and all these other issues. I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry. Do not worry. That's all the angel says, don't worry. It's all going to be okay. It's all going to be good. So I don't know if any of the judges are going to be removed from the courts or they're going to put new judges in or the judges who are already there are going to do their job. <laughs> they're going to, you know, they're going to do their job. Uh, so don't worry about that. That's going to be okay. <laughs> so I hope that answers some of your questions uh, here as we get into the new year. You might, I mean, the past couple weeks I have... I guess about a week and a half. I got feeling it's going to go on. That I, oh, I didn't want to use these cards. Um, week, no, it's been a, I guess a couple of weeks. I've been feeling totally out of sorts here, and there is a big shift going on in, in the universe. And I don't know if some of you have been feeling a little out of sorts, like so much that it it kind of like keeps me up at night thinking. I think of these things, and and then finally. Uh, and it's thinking, too much thinking is ego-based. And so the, the other morning, the angel said to me, they says, uh, Cindy, you're into ego mode. <laughs> Stop. Get out of there. You know? And then I says, you know what? You're absolutely right. All this COVID and all the stuff that's going on and, and the rise and things and all this stuff, that's literally going to make me sick. <laughs> you know? And I, and I, we can't, I can't be there. So I said, you're right. You're absolutely right. I can either start thinking and, and being in the place where I choose to be. Okay. So let's pull a couple cards here and see what the angels have to say. Angels, please come to us right now. And any messages you want to tell us or let us know, please show us in these cards. Please select three cards for us. Appreciate the cards. Back to Donald Trump, though he's not going to be at the inauguration, he's going to get out of the White House. I think he's going to get out for Christmas and he's not coming back. The angels are telling me he's just going to like disappear. And the thing that he's going to try and pardon everybody, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. He might try, but it's not going to happen. Okay, so we have, the first card that came up was the Ten of Fire. So this, this card tells us too much work except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. And of course, this is the coronavirus, okay? That's that's happening right now. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. 
And we really need, when it says accept help from others, we all have to do our part. There's a lot, too much work. There's too much work to be had. We, we all have to do our part to help get over this and to take care. Listen to the CDC uh, requirements uh, all to keep us healthy. You, we really have to do this. Life is out of balance. Yes, it is. Come on, we got to get back to being balanced. We got to be come back to loving each other and caring for each other. We all want the same thing. I don't care who you are, what nationality you are, what race you are, where you live, what whether you have a lot of money or you have a little bit of money. I don't care. We all want the same thing in life. We want to be healthy. We want we want to live comfortably, be able to pay our bills. You know, um, we want, most of us want to do the right thing. We don't want anybody taking advantage of us. So if we don't want anybody taking advantage of us, that means we shouldn't be taking advantage of anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So we all want the same thing. We want our families to be healthy. We want to be, and we want to live in a state of not, of being fearless and being happy and joyful. And we all have to pitch in to do that. And the night of fire comes up next and with this card it's saying don't give up protect that which you created have courage and believe in yourself so with this card what i'm telling them it says don't give up better things are coming okay believe that that, that better things are coming everything it is have the courage to hang in there have the courage to do the right thing you know, have that courage to do that because, and don't give up because yes, it's coming health, that good things are coming for us. Then we have the moon card. With the moon card, it says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. And as I was reading this here and telling you this, this has to do uh, with Trump. Okay. So uh, there are important things happening behind the scenes. So any worries or fears that you might have uh, that are holding you back. It's, you know, it could be even with the coronavirus, but this they told me this has to do with Trump. Okay. So you have to release the fears that hold you back, whether there are the Trump supporters or the non-Trump supporters, um, you gotta release any of those fears that are holding you back. So Trump supporters, if, if you were fearful about what's gonna happen with Trump or this, or oh no, they just told me. The Trump supporters, if you have any fear that this country is going down the drain, it's not. That's what they just told me. So f release the fears that hold you back. So release those fears you think in the country is going down the drain because Trump is leaving office. To release that. It's not going to happen. It's holding you back from reality, what's really, really true. So release those fears, okay? And Because uh, it's, it's going, believe me, it's, I'm telling you, it's going to get a lot, lot better. <laughs> So that was the angels card. So let's go see what the archangels have to say. Archangels, please come to us right now. Give us a message. We only need three cards for a message that we need to hear from you. Thank you for coming to us right now. And hearing us. Okay, so let's go ahead and show this for us. Give us as much table room here. We could do it. Of 
archangels. Archangels. Uh -huh. So, you know, as you go through things here, okay, we got one. Um, just so you know, Archangel, some of you might already know this, Raphael is God's angel for healing and for love. And his color is green. So when you call on Raphael, you, you know, you might just imagine his wings green, his wings wrapping around you as you're calling on him. And, and there's like a green light or a green mist that surrounds you. And Archangel Michael is God's biggest and most powerful angel. He is not only is he an archangel, but he's also an ascendant master. He's a saint, so he's an ascendant master. And he has this, a lot of the same powers as uh, Jesus does uh, in the fact that he can be with everybody at the same time, you know. And his color is blue, like a royal blue. Sometimes it's purple, and sometimes it might even be gold. But that's Archangel Michael. He is the bomb diggity. <laughs> so the first card that came out, is uh, the divine guidance card okay and it says the search for the the search for the meaning in life consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers or friends okay so <laughs> as i was reading this the angels was was telling me uh do your research but go with the facts not because someone posts something on Facebook or they post something on Twitter or they post something things really do the facts so if you want to know about the coronavirus go to the sign the experts is what I'm telling you go to the experts some people have already had their minds made up that the experts are lying they're fake they're all this that way so so this hearsay or this craziness that they see on Facebook is the truth. <laughs> and so you're not going to believe the experts, but you're going to believe somebody who just created this, spent time because they had nothing else better to do on the computer and create something crazy. And you're going to believe that other than the truth. The search for the meaning of life. Seek out the experts. Okay, make sure... It says considered an alternative approach. So something that you don't normally do. <laughs> uh, and so if you go always on Facebook for learning this or finding out information, do something different. Go to where the professionals are. Okay. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends, people who know experts. The next card is the three of Michael. And with this card, it says release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. And this is telling everybody, everybody, release the past. Let it go. Let, someone did something wrong to you. And this is true either if it's Donald Trump or the Democrats or the Republicans or whoever. Uh, or somebody, you know, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So, but you, you know, if somebody did something and you think it's awful and terrible, first of all, you're judging them, number one. So you're creating a really bad karma for yourself by judging people, okay? What you have to keep in mind is that whatever somebody does, they are creating their own karma and law of attraction. Do not attach yourself to somebody else's law of attraction and karma. If they're going to have bad things happen to them, why are you attaching yourself to them? <laughs> so it's about you not judging them. Letting them go. Let the universe take them. Let karma take them. Let, let whatever they create come back to them. You have nothing to say. Detach from it. Let it go. It's going to If anything that happens to them... Let it happen to them because of them, not because of you. Because if you allow things by judging people, finding fault, calling people's names, doing all this craziness, hatred, go, uh, pro protesting uh, government officials and things like you do that, you are destroying your own life by your own karma. Law of attraction. What you put out, what you think, say, and do out to the universe comes back to you let it go release it 
Let it go. Let it happen. Because it's going to happen. Okay. The next card is the Seven of Raphael. And with this card, it says, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. Need, a need for detoxification. Yeah, this country, all of us need, the world needs to detox. We do. And we have to make a decision, what are we going to do? Are we going to continue to, to live a toxic life? Are we going to continue to, 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 to accept and live a toxic life? And be stubborn or deliberately do the opposite of what we really need to do? No one's telling anybody to do something to control them. We are being told during this, this pandemic to do something so we can heal. The doctor tells you uh, to, that, that if you don't, if that your blood sugar's up and you're a diabetic, and he tells you if you don't take this insulin, you're going to die. She's gonna be so I'm not taking that insulin. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. And then you're dead. Boom. Because you're stubborn, you don't want to listen to the experts. Doesn't make any sense to me. But that's up to you. I'm not judging you. Doesn't make sense to me. I'm not gonna do it. If that's how you think, go ahead, do it. It's time to make that decision. Be clear what you want and take action. Do you want to heal? Do, do, do you want, it, it's, a, it's a need to detox. We have this need, we want to do it. So what we've been doing all along isn't working. Then hello, we need to make changes. We have to make a decision what we want. Do we want to stay where we are in a toxic situation? Or do we want to move forward and get better? Whether it's with Corona, whether it's with, with Trump, or whether it's anything else, we have that choice for ourselves. We can't choose anybody else. It's time to do that. Five of Michael. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Yes, this situation does not serve us. I remember the Trump supporters when, when Trump won the presidency and they said, oh, well, we dealt with eight years of Obama. You can have four, you can deal with four years of Trump. Okay. So we had four years of Trump. <laughs> and we know the situation doesn't serve us. So now, uh, you know, I'm thinking, well, if we dealt four years of Trump, you can deal with four years of Biden. <laughs> I'm the type of person that smacks people with the thing. It's it's just, but I'm going to be truthful, you know. But this, it's time to release the attachment to the outcome. The situation doesn't serve us. This is where I'm saying, don't be part of someone's karma or someone's law of attraction. You have to detach from it, okay? You have to release it and let it go, let it happen. And then the four of Ariel. And it says, when you give, you also receive. Being resistance to change, extremes, and how you save or spend money. Okay. So the, our government is fighting over about um, getting the, um, the packages. I'm sorry, I told that. But... Uh, you know the relief funds to help the citizens of this country and businesses and people and that are so struggling but they don't know when you give everybody this money and care it comes back to our country it's feeding back into us so when they give they're also receiving okay people are receiving you get it just happens automatically okay but some people in, in our government I'm not going to name names, are resistance to change. They're stubborn. They're very extreme on how to save or spend money. They have to stop it. Because it's going to come back to them. Okay? It's going to come back to them. So this is what's going on now. You know what? I should ask about... I'm going to do these cards. Let's see if... Mitch McConnell, if there's going to be an agreement 
on uh, the relief bill. Okay, angels, please come to us and tell me is there going to be relief bill coming? I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't finish asking the question. I was going to ask by by Christmas, but guess what came out? The sun card. It's coming. Okay. This is the most positive card in the deck. It's happiness, success. It's uh, prosperity. It's all wonderful things that are coming. So I think what this card is telling us is is that. They're finally going to realize when you give, you also receive. That they've been resistant to change and they're going to make the changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what these cards say real quick before uh, I go. I don't like to go too long on the videos. Uh, we just passed 30 minutes. I don't like to go past, let's say around 20, 25 minutes, but we'll see. Okay. So angels, please come to us right now. Tell us there's three part three more final messages of what we can expect um, for the new year. Thank you. Okay, three parts, please, angels. For the new year, what can we expect for the new year? So many people who are hungry, who are going to be evicted, who's lost their businesses. This is horrible. It's horrible how uh, the American citizens have been treated in this country and the leadership that didn't take charge. It's, it's just horrible. I, I send love and prayers, healing light and love to everyone. Okay, three cards, please. Can expect by the new year. We're, we're, we're over 300,000 people. That's what the numbers this morning. Can we expect the new year? Oh. Okay. This is the part here. Let's, I wanted three, but let's go through this quickly. Okay. The first card that came out was the Knight of Wands. Okay, and this this is a fast energy moving, uh, long journey. Yeah, it's been a long journey, fast fast moving, uh, but it's it looks like fast energy, quick moving. So it looks like things might be happening before the, the new year. We have the Four of Cups here. And with the four cups, you can see the one cup, the hand is there. Can you see that? Okay. It's being offered in three cups from the ground. So this is being bored or, or um, disconnected, you know, and it's missing what's being offered. We have the five of wands. Mm -hmm. This is petty squabbling. This is fighting and this this might be uh, uh, Congress and this, the Senate the House and the Senate c conflicts this is difference of op opinions you know petty squalling this is horrible they're not paying attention to what's being what they're offering to what's really what the, they want to offer to us the Americans. But it's moving fast. It's been a long journey. Okay. We have the three of wands here. This is progress. But more planning needs. <laughs> more planning. Uh, but we're, we're heading in the right direction. With the seven of wands. This is... The need to defend someone's position. We have to stay calm. Okay. And have confidence. Okay. 
maybe the person who's who is the needs to defend us have to be confident on what's really best thing for us this defending our rights it's happening it's something happening by the cops uh, this is excitement offers invitations proposals Uh, this is the two of swords here. And this is confused, unable to make a decision. Time to break the deadlock. End it. <laughs> but then we have the nine of pentacles. And since it's a woman, financial success, security, independent. Good with money, rewards, comfort. So it looks like a woman's going to bring this forward for us. And probably get this together. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate that. Don't forget to like or subscribe uh, my videos and leave me questions uh, if you have any questions. Um, I, I, my goal is to come on like every week, <laughs> but it doesn't always happen because I, the angels have to say, get on and, and tell, tell this, get on and tell this. And when they do that, that's when I come on. See, so, uh, I have to have that, that when I really have a message to say, then I'll come on and say. I, my goal is to do that. I'm going to try to work with my angels a little bit with that. But thank you for watching. Stay, stay positive. Please wear your mask, you know, and stay in the knowing. Stay in prayer. Stay in faith. Okay, because you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you've got the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. And please let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is very much needed and healing. But you have to be in that place in order to give it. You have you can't give something you don't have. Okay, so you have to be there to do that. And know that God blesses and loves you and so do I. I wish all of you namaste and happy holidays if I don't get back to you before the new year. But I got a feeling I'm gonna be back here again. So take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.